Hi, this is my Ocean Nymph look for the contest by All That Glitters 21, so I hope you guys enjoy it. After you've concealed and done your foundation, take a cream eyeshadow and a grayish blue tone and apply it all over the lids of your eyes. Using the L'Oreal Hip Duo and Magnetic, take a fluffy brush and the lighter blue color and apply it on top of that cream eyeshadow base all over the lid of your eyes. Using a blending brush, blend out the harsh line from the blue until it fades into a smoky kind of pale color. Taking the same eyeshadow duo, take a thick pencil brush and the darker color and create a V at the outer corner of your eye. Then trace the crease of your eye. Take your blending brush and blend together the two blues as well as blending away any harsh lines. Take an eyeshadow brush and a shimmery white color. I'm using Maybelline's eyeshadow in vanilla and apply it right above that dark blue and under your eyebrows. Take your blending brush again and fade the dark blue into the white so that there's no line at all between the transition. Take that same white and an angled liner brush and highlight the inner corner of your eyes with it. Just make a tiny V, but be careful not to go into the tear ducts of your eyes. Take a turquoise eyeliner pencil. I'm using Milani's Color Brilliance Eye Pencil in Aqua. And starting from the middle of your eye, trace very close to the lash line. We're going to create a little flick, so just continue the natural shape of your eye from the bottom and then fill it in. Take this same color and line your lower lash line about halfway with it. Take an angled liner brush and the light blue color from the magnetic duo and we're going to create a transition from the aqua to the white. So tr um, starting a little bit into the aqua um, and going into a little bit of the white um, trace along your lower lash line. If you need to, reapply some more white in the inner corner of your eye. Take a light brown eyeliner pencil and trace along your lower waterline. Take cosmetic grade shimmer powder in silver and a fluffy brush and apply it on the center of your eyelids. This will add dimension to your eyes and make them appear more rounded. With whatever's left on the brush, apply it on the inner bridge of your nose and on any bags you may have under your eyes. Take a rosy pink blush, I'm using a mineralized one by Physician Formula, and starting your hairline, apply it along your cheekbones, concentrating it on the apples of your cheek. Also apply it along your jawline, your chin, the bridge of your nose, and your forehead to add some warmth to your face. Take some shimmer powder, make sure it's cosmetic grade, and apply it all over your face and neck, as well as your collarbones if you wish. Now curl your eyelashes. I'm using the Eyelash Curler by Shumra. You can find at Sephora. Take a dramatic mascara, make sure it's waterproof, and apply it to both your upper and lower lashes. Take an orange lipstick and apply it on your finger, then apply it on your lips. Try to use more of a dabbing motion and less of a swiping motion to make it look more natural and not as strong. Dab off any excess lipstick and apply a coral lip gloss on top.
And that's the entire look. I hope you enjoy being magical.